So the next element we're, we'll talk about is this stuff right here. So we have a soft gas and some particles coming off here. So this one's going to be super, super short. And in this, in this sim, so here's the energy ball gas. Now, uh, I decided to experiment here and I wanted to get uh, more stuff going with Houdini 13. So uh, there's some mistakes in, oh, oh, there's a custom attribute I have. Oh, so what I have is I have a source volume, the pyro solver. I have uh, geometry and I have geometry crests. I add those in, put them into a multi solver, and because I'm using the pop solver to advect and the pyro solver to do the sim. And so here I source, I source in my geometry, and it's uh, very straightforward. I just get the energy balls and I emit off them. So basically I prep the geometry uh, and put attributes on them to, you know, alter the, uh, you know, the flow and the velocity injection. And then I sim it out. So in this area I was experimenting because this was pretty new to me. So I wanted to combine these solvers. So uh, what we have here is, you know, I wanted to do the ge geometry angle and it kind of works. So this was this was pretty cool, you know. Uh, I can edit uh, the particles uh, and their geometry with this. And so that was a quick way for me to uh, randomize the velocity on uh, input. So I birthed a lot of particles. And then on here I have a uh, custom attribute that I want to increment called my age. And this was an experiment because I don't think I, or maybe I do use this for the shader. Uh, the shader reads my age. And so I, I can increment my custom attributes with this geometry wrangle if I plug it into a multi-solver. So that was pretty cool. And uh, what I have here is this, this crest is sourcing in uh, the spinning geometry and with this gas particle to field, I take that geometry and then I add, get its velocity and then I add it, add it in. So this was just a different way of sourcing in geometry to add in. I, what I could have also done is I can convert it to a volume and then add the velocity with the source vo volume. But to me, this was a little, I think this is a little bit faster to do it here. So that gives us, let's see here. Uh, oh, we got to put down a uh, visibility. Oh, we already have one. And there it is. So I should be using, I should have been using a resize, but I was having some troubles with it. And so this gives me the gas and the particles. And uh, in here, this is a little bit inconsistent because you know, of the crests, I first did the smoke, or I did the particles, I simmed the particles and rendered them in the same geometry. And the next one I loaded in the gas. And in here I did the opposite, where I basically load in uh, what I saved, and then I just keep the particles on this one. Where, oh, there they are. Phew. Uh, so there are the particles. And so consistency is important. This was a mistake. Uh, there, there should have definitely been, uh, I should have focused on consistency on this one. That's very important. So, all right, thanks for watching. That's the overview of the crescent uh, or the energy ball gas and the ball gas particles. So very similar to the crescent gas and gas particles.